Greetings. Greetings. This is Pastor Williams. Um, I am the senior pastor of the Word Center Ministries, and we are live. We are live again at 7 p.m. Here we are again live at 7 p.m. From my home to your home, come on in. We're going to allow some people to get in. Please share. Share the live. Share the live. Share the live. Share the live tonight as you come in. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Again, I'm uh, the pastor of the WCM, the Word Center Ministries. I am here. Um, and we're asking that you share this live as we get ready to prepare to receive a word from God. As you come in, we ask that you share this live. Uh, again, I am uh, the pastor of the Word Center. As you coming in tonight, please share this live. Start watch parties. We're actually going to give a quick nugget tonight, and I'm going to get some of my um, senior elders to come on with me uh, and so we can move in the gifts of the Spirit. And so they're going to be surprised. We're going to pull them on tonight. And so we're excited about what God is going to do, what he's going to say. And so um, I'm going to give a quick nugget. It's going to last. My nugget is probably going to last about 10, 15 minutes. Then we're going to move and, and, and administer the gifts of the Spirit. Ha. I already feel the presence of God. I feel the Lord is going to do some healing even on here tonight. Um, I know that the Lord is saying that we're moving into the book of Acts, the Acts church. And so I'm excited about what God is doing, even through live streaming. And so as you come on tonight, begin to share this and invite all of your friends in, invite all of your family members in. I'm super, super excited, super excited. We pray that you come in in the spirit. We pray that you're already praying for us. You're already in worship. You're ready to receive a word from God. And we are excited, definitely, about what God is about to say to us. And so as you're coming in, please share this live. Share this live. Share this live tonight. Again, I have a quick nugget. We're going to do some praying for some people. Um, we're going to pray, do a little prophesying. Um, again, I feel like the, the spirit of the gift of healing is is going to move a little bit tonight. And so I'm excited about the glory of the Lord that I already feel right now as I sit here and I'm speaking with you. And so invite some people on. If you know some people that's having some issues, they need God, they need a miracle, invite them, tag them, share this right now. Share this right now because God is going to move so quickly tonight uh, that you they might miss him. And so I pray that you would just start sharing this. Again, share this live with someone. God is going to move definitely in here tonight. He's been moving at 7 p.m. nightly. Again, we are so grateful for all the elders and leaders of the WCM who's coming on nightly to deposit a word in your spirit and in your belly and even to minister to you in the gifts of the spirit. And so we're on here. Go ahead and share this live. We're going to wait till our numbers get up. We pray that you come in praying. You're in the spirit of worship because, again, I feel the Lord moving already. And I actually could go ahead and start moving in the gifts of the spirit. But we're going to take a moment, give you a nugget of the word of God, and then we're going to obey God tonight. So here we are. Here we are. You're in my home. I'm right here in my space again, same place, um, praying against the spirit of, 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 of manipulation and praying against the spirit of interference. The enemy wants to come in and interfere. But we bind the spirit of in interference even now. The enemy will not set a trap, will not come in this place tonight, for God is going to move in an amazing way in this place. I'm going to need some intercessors to be praying in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel the, a strong grace in the gifts of the spirit on here tonight. And so go ahead and share this live. We're going to deposit a nugget, like I said. And I'm going to say what the Lord is saying very quickly. Um, I'm going to say what he's saying and to tell you what the Lord is speaking even right now. Um, my pastor, uh, an apostle, Kent Maddox, came on a few days ago talking about identity and how important it is in this season that we find identity and we know who we are. We know who God has called us to be. We know exactly what the Lord is telling us to do. And I believe that that's going to be imperative in such a season as this, that God has given us time to figure out exactly what it is God wants us to do. And so as you're inviting people in this room, I believe that revival has already started. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Well, how has it started, Pastor? It has started in, 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 in a location that we call this live 
but it's called e-streaming. And I believe God is already moving. Um, he's already moving in a setting just like this. And, and I feel the presence of God. God is going to move tonight in such a miraculous way. So again, come on and invite somebody in the room. Again, we're going to share a quick word from what the Spirit has been revealing to me. And we're going to move forward. Again, I'm going to ask some of my elders and prophets to come on with me tonight and help me uh, to move in the gifts of the Spirit. And again, I feel a strong anointing for healing tonight in the name of Jesus. And so we're going to speak to some ailments, some issues, some things that's going on in your bodies and some things that's been happening in your bloodline. Hallelujah. I even hear the Lord revealing some things that's hunting, hunting uh, bloodline, generational curses that are sicknesses that are coming down through the bloodline that we're going to stand that we're going to stand against even tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ha ha tabando Hallelujah. And I already hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, There's somebody on here tonight. Hallelujah. That's suffering. Hallelujah. With issues with their heart. Their heart is only producing. Hallelujah. The last time you went to the doctor, the doctor said your heart was only producing at about 40%. And I hear the Lord saying that he's even sending a healing angel to touch your heart even now. And God is healing that place in your heart. And your heart shall be restored and it shall be healed back to 100%. In the name of I declare that you shall not have congestive heart failure. I bind heart attacks in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. Hallelujah. Even the person that the enemy wants to take out via the blood clot in the artery. Hallelujah. The left ventricle. I hear the spirit saying, hallelujah, that thing that was clogged up, the Lord is going to open it up and the blood is going to flow in the name of Jesus and the enemy will not steal you in in the midst of a moment, in the name of Jesus, I declare that. I speak that over your life, whoever you are on this live. I declare that prophetic word over you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Ha we are excited. We are excited. You're coming on in. Hallelujah. Share this live. God is on the Taman Soye. Roma Kaban de Beke Toko Reketantansi. I see a skin condition. I see a, a skin condition. Hallelujah. Somebody has recently been dealing with some skin conditions, some issues in the skin, and the Lord said he's going to touch. Hallelujah. Your epidermis. Hallelujah. The layer of your skin that's causing issues. And I declare and I decree that full healing comes now in the name of Jesus from the crown of your head to the so-called and you, the person that I'm speaking to, have not even have, have quite an understanding for what that is and what's causing it. But the Lord says to tell you, hallelujah, child of God, that I'm already moving and I'm touching you now. And I even see what looks like a, a warm blanket falling on you now. And it's going to fall like a veil. Hallelujah. And as that warmth covers you, your body, God is healing you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. We love to hear testimonies. Anytime that we're speaking and God is speaking and he's doing something for you, amen, it will be so wonderful if you will confirm that the Lord was actually speaking. Hallelujah, God. Ha and so if that was you, if you will send me a message and let me know, say, Pastor, that was me that you were prophesying to, that issue, that was me, and I felt the glory of the Lord, and I'm stepping out on faith believing that God is doing exactly what he said. Hallelujah. And if you don't know, sometimes God will send a prophet or a person with a prophetic uh, anointing to call out a thing to change a circumstance. Until the prophet speaks, the circumstance can't change a lot of times. And so I'm on here for, for some of you who've had terminal sicknesses and illnesses that the doctors have given up on that somebody has said that that thing won't be turned around but the Lord is saying to you even tonight that God says to tell you I'm going to turn that thing around hallelujah. I'm 
I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to prove to the doctors that I am God. I'm going to prove to your family members that I am God. I'm going to prove to even you, you of little faith. I'm going to prove to you that I am God. I'm all powerful God, all knowing God, all sovereign God. I have all power in my hand. And for you, man or woman of God, I sent my son to die so that you can have the right to this healing in the name of Jesus. And then if you are in here, continue to share this live. We are about to drop a nugget of a word and we will continue to move in the Ketatan de Beso Rabba. Ikababando Boshaya. Itan de Bebe Beso Rabaka. Ikadabando Boshe. Yes, Lord. Oh, ye etan de Ketekete. Roko Reketan de Besoya. Ikababando Bobo Boshaya. Ikando Reman de Bebe Soya Keta. Itabando Bobo Boshe. Hallelujah, Father. We pray for everyone on this live. Hallelujah for every trap and everything that the enemy has set up for them. God, I come against it now in the name of Jesus. I bind, hallelujah, the tricks of the enemy. I bind every distraction. I bind everything that is not in your will. Everything that has come up against anybody in this room tonight. We stand against the strong man that's trying to come in the house. And we bind the strong man and tell him to get out of, the, get out of your mind. Get out of your body. Get out of your relationship. Get out of your bedroom. Get out of your marriage. Get out of your finances. Get out of your children. Hallelujah. Get off of your job. I declare and I decree that tonight, hallelujah, the very presence of demonic forces that had invaded your space, they are fleeing even now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare that thing has to go. We stand in the grace and the authority of the Almighty God. We are not He, but we is He that sent. He sent me on an assignment tonight to tell everyone every devil in your life, to tell every affliction in your life, to tell every mental warfare that you're facing, it has to go in the name of Jesus, and I give you back the authority and control back over your life, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I am excited, I am excited, I am excited, again, God is about to speak something real quickly, real quickly, he's about to say something real quickly to the church, and so after he says that, we're going to begin to prophesy and move in the gifts of the spirit. God is healing somebody even now. I don't care who you are and what the doctors have said. God is going to, see, you can't go to the doctors. Hi, I hear the spirit of the Lord. The, the Lord says to tell somebody that can't go to the doctors. Hallelujah. God says, I said it to be that way because you, when, when I heal you right there in your home, you will have no choice but to say that it was God that did it. Hallelujah. And when you return, the fruit of your testimony will bring deliverance and healing to the body of Christ like never before. We declare that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're about to deliver this quick nugget. Again, invite somebody. Tell them to come on in. Tell them to come on in. They've already missed the, the, the movement of God, but we're going to keep moving. And I want to begin to tell you what God had been revealing to me. And, and God has been saying to me, he says to tell the people of God, he says to tell you that I have been developing and molding a church like the church we see in the book of Acts. He says, I'm molding a church without walls. When I say a church without walls, that means a church without restrictions, without limitations, without boundaries, without uh, anything hindering or, or keeping it from moving in all of the gifts and all of the administrations of the power and the anointing that God meant for the church to move and operate in. And God says to say tonight that he has, he is producing and developing a people, watch this, not a specific church, but he's develop, developing a kingdom of people, a kingdom of believers who will move in the gifts and the spirit of the Lord and cause revival to hit the nation. What does revival look like? Any church without power may not be a church at all. Hallelujah, God. 
if a church does not move in the gifts of the spirit under the power of the Holy Ghost, if you don't see a healing happen in five years, no deliverance in five years, hallelujah, nobody filled with the gift of the spirit in five years, nobody saved in five years, then the question is not whether or not, hallelujah, you're in the right place. The question is whether or not God is in that place. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. And I would never sit in a place, hallelujah, longer, hallelujah, long enough to jeopardize what God is trying to do in my life. So I'm here to tell you that you're here listening to me on this live. Some of you are in a, in a crux of your life trying to determine where do you go next? What do you do next? God is saying, I want to develop you right there in your home. I want to give you a gift and teach you how to use it without, hallelujah, a, a, some man or woman of God that can cl claim it or, or, or want to seek credit for it. I'm going to do it right in you and teach you the ways of God. And when you come back, You'll be ready to move in the gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Then the Lord said to me, he says, hallelujah. It's already hot, y'all. He says, tell the people. This is the thing that blessed me. He says, tell them, you don't decide your readiness. Hallelujah, God. You don't decide your readiness. You do not decide your timeline. You don't decide when. You don't decide where. You don't decide uh, how it happens. Hallelujah. Everything about your life is under sovereign rule. What does that mean? Everything about what's supposed to happen in your life is under God. It's not up to you. The when is not up to you. The how is not up to you. The where is not up to you. The process is not up to you. Everything that happens in your life is up to God. It is God that decides when you are ready. Hallelujah. And when God believes that you are, knows that you are ready, then God releases the resources and the anointing to go along with what he called you to do. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So not only can you not to decide when you're ready, you got to get out of the mindset that says, I'm going to tell God when I'm ready and when I'm ready. I'm going to ask him to release to me what I need. You know how we do it. You know, we know we go. I ain't ready yet, God. I'm still I still want to do my own thing. I still want to go my own places. I still want to I want to dabble here and dabble there. And God is saying, that's not up to you. That's not up to you. When I decide that you are ready, you ain't got you can't tell me when you're ready. See, the day that you tell me you're ready, I might not be ready to release what you're looking for. So you have to be ready when I'm ready. Hallelujah, God. So God is telling somebody on here tonight, you've been trying to wait and decide when you are ready to do what God has called you to do. But God sent me on here tonight to tell you, you don't decide when you're ready. Hallelujah. And there are a lot of people who've already decided that they were ready, that were not ready. I can't get no help. I come to talk tonight. There are a lot of people that's operating in the kingdom of God and they told God that they were ready and God didn't release no anointing, but they operate. And the people can tell they ain't got no anointing. I can, I, I wish I could about, I could about run around this house right here. Hallelujah. And God says, if I'm going to bring the world to the church, then when the world comes, they don't want to see you. They want to see God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. And so in order for them to see God, you can't be standing up there in your flesh. So what does that mean? That means that when God says, speak, speak. When he say, shut up, shut up. When he say, get up, get up. When he say, sit down, sit down. Holly, if he don't tell you to grab a mic, don't grab one. If he don't tell you to sing, don't sing. You can't just sing because you feel like you got an anointing. You can't just pray because you feel like God called you to pray. You can't just prophesy because you feel a little goose pumps on your arm. You just can't preach because everybody preaching and you can't find no job. And so the easiest job to get is a certificate that says that you are ordained to preach. The devil is a lie. We won't pimp the pulpit for you to get. I can't get no help in here. We will not pimp the pulpit. Hallelujah. To make ends meet. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. God didn't call you to preach so that you can get a check. He called you to preach to affect the people. And if your main job is to come to the church and to deliver a message to change people, then you are up there illegally. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I am reclaiming.
reclaiming the pulpit. I am reclaiming the pulpit. I am etabai. I am reclaiming the pulpit because it had been robbed and snatched from me and people were using it illegally. Hallelujah. To self-promote and to self-give self-fame and to make a name for themselves and God's name ain't nowhere in it. I come to talk tonight. I come to talk tonight. Hallelujah. But God says, if I'm going to move in a church like the church at Acts, then everybody that's standing in operation has to possess my spirit. Come here, Holy Ghost. If you are not walking in the spirit of God, I dare you to stand. I dare you to stand. Hallelujah. In the name of my Lord and Savior and profess that you're doing things at the hand of God and you are up there manipulating and you are being deceitful and you know God ain't called you to do it. The devil is, I can't get no help because the world, when they come, they're going to be able to spot an imposter a mile away. Hallelujah. So when they come, God ain't got time to have no imposters up there. He got to have the real folk up there. Hi, hi, and I, 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 I got to say it. I got to say it because it'll behoove me not to say it. The real people ain't going to look like we think they're going to look. I can't get no help in here. I can't get Get no help in here. Everybody that you think is anointed, you might not see them in the next phase of the church. Everybody that you counted out, those are going to be the very ones that you see operate. I can't get no help. I can't get you. You want to know why? Because they are the ones that's more worried about pleasing God and getting it right before they open their mouth. Then all of the people that's standing up there just trying to prophesy to make you like them, prophesy to make you give them a seed or a donation, prophesy so that they can make their church bigger, but God is saying that is not God, and that will be dead in this seed. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, woe be unto you, hallelujah, that will, that will call yourself to an assignment that I have not called you to, hallelujah. I called you to what I called you to, but you better know that that's what I called you to, hallelujah God. So listen to this, listen to let me go back to the script. Let me go back. I got, I got in the zone. Watch this. Listen to this. Many times we are so overzealous. Hallelujah. We are so overzealous and believe that we are ready for things that we are not ready for. Watch this. We think we ready because we got a certain sound. Oh, ha. Yes. See, you know, if I'm preaching, if I got a little hum, I got the anointing. Oh, If I got a little hum, I got the anointing. Hallelujah. If I can make him fall out and say, yeah, you sang it, then I got a little anointing. Hallelujah. If I know how to wear the right skirt and the right high heels and the right shirt and look the part, then I must be anointed. But God doesn't listen for a sound. He doesn't look for your apparel. And God does not look for the number of people that you draw. Hallelujah, God. But God is looking for an authentic thing that you developed in your off time. Come here, David. Come here, David. When God got ready to anoint a king, how everybody that they put in line that we thought looked apart, God said no. He wanted the one that was muddy, that was dirty. The Bible called him Rudy. He called him Rudy. He didn't look the part, but he had, watch this, he had been moving in the part he was called to when nobody was looking. And I come to prophesy to every person that's been doing the call of God while nobody's been looking. God is calling you to the kingdom of God to operate in this season. Ha, ha, ha. He said, the Lord says, because you are the real saints. You are the real church. You want to know how he knows? Because you weren't doing it for a name. You weren't doing it for your family. You weren't doing it for your best friend. You weren't doing it to get no church. You weren't doing it to be the senior pastor or the senior your leader or the head apostle or the head prophet. You was doing it because you love the Lord. Come in, David. Why do you dance like that? I dance like that because I love the Lord. Come in, David. Why do you prophesy like that? I prophesy like that because I love the Lord. Why is David a man after God's own heart? He's like that because he loved the Lord. He loved the Lord. Watch this. Watch this. And I'm almost done. This is my last nugget and then we about to speak. Hallelujah. Listen to this. God looks at your character and decides whether or not 
you can handle what he has for you. Uh oh. If he finds your character approved, then he releases his resources. If you're walking with a lack of resources, it may not be because God is not able. It may be because your character ain't intact. I can't get no help in here. I wish I could find some people that'll say amen right there. God is looking for some people whose character aligns with the call. Character aligns with the call. Character aligns with, I can't get no help. I wish y'all would say amen. He ain't looking for just anybody. He wants your character to be aligned with the call. He not calling you to be perfect, but he calling your character to align with the call of God on your life. Therefore, when you submit to the call, your character will be up under subjection to the spirit. Ah, ha. So your character will then answer to the spirit of God when your character get out of whack. That means that I can't act in the kind of way. I can't say what I want to say. I can't do what I want to do. I can't go where I want to go. I can't be with who I want to be with. I can't choose what I want to choose. I can't live how I want to live. I have to live according to what the spirit tells me so that my character aligns with the call. Character aligns with the call. Character aligns with the call. There are a lot of people on here tonight. You are running. You are running. You are running. There are calls on your life. There's gifts on your life. And I come to tell you in this season, don't let no man stop you from obeying God. I can't get no help in here. I can't get no help. Don't let no man stop you from obeying God. Hallelujah. Because your obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah, God. And so many of you are sacrificing other people. Because you are not obeying the call, you're sacrificing their life and they can't get to where they need to be because you're not where you should be. I can't get no help. I can prove it to you. Come here, Jonah. Jonah was running and say, God, I ain't going to tell them folk that. I can't tell them people that, God. They know that they wrong. They know they low down. They know they, they mean as hell. They know they cuss folk out. They know they, 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 uh, they are deceitful. They know that they sleeping with folk. They ain't got no... Ha! I'm not going over there and tell them they rebellious. They already know that. And God said, if you don't tell them, who gonna tell them? I can't get no help. Mm. If you don't tell them, who gonna tell them? So Jonah, I can't let you run from me no longer. And God is telling me to tell somebody on here tonight. You've been running, but the Lord says to tell you, I can't let you run no longer. I prepared the COVID for the runners. I prepared the COVID for the runners. I prepared the COVID for the runners. I prepared the COVID. The COVID is the whale. The COVID is your whale. God got you in the belly of the whale until you tell God. God, that you are willing to accept the call of God on your life. He's not going to let you out your house. I mean the belly of the whale. Ha. Hallelujah. I wish I could get somebody to shout in here. God says I ain't going to let you out the house until you decide that you are going to obey me. I, I wish I could find some help in here. It's too many. It's 146 people on this live. Probably 2,000 people that stepped in here. But there are more people in here. Hallelujah. That is running from the call of God. They have not accepted and most of you are the reason why we in the COVID. And the Lord says, in order for the well to spit you out, and in order for the well to go away, you got to say, for God I live, and for God I die. You got to say, nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. You can't do it your way. You got to do it, God. You got to lift up your hands and say, God, if you want me to tell it, I'll tell it. If you want me to say it, I'll say it. If you want me to go, I'll go. If you want me to preach, I'll preach. If you want me to pray, I'll pray. Where I want you to do it? In the Piggly Wiggly, in the Walmart, in the bomb shop, in the salon, in the subway, on the line, at the master. I can't get no help in here. Wherever he say do it, do it. Wherever he say I can't get no help. I wish I could find some folk. You are in the COVID. I mean the well because you are not obeying God and you have shipwrecked a lot of your family members and you have shipwrecked a lot of your friends because you are running from the call of God on you. 
I, I am the prophet tonight and you better hear I ain't prophesying houses and lands but I'm prophesying and pushing you into the purpose that God called you to I wish I could find somebody that'll say amen and God says tonight I prepare the well until you decide that you're going to give me your yes and when you give me your yes I'll let the world open back up but until that time you're going to stay in the belly of the well huh Hallelujah. God says, I'm no longer playing. Hallelujah. I'm no longer playing. Huh? The storm that is here is the result of Jonas that's running. Huh? Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And many of you want to appease God. By throwing the luggage off board when all the while you sleep on the boat. Ha, he can he time the Bosiah. You sleep in the church, and now here we are stuck in quarantine because your butt decided that you weren't gonna obey God. But God is hallelujah. God is not a liar, and he said, Everybody that I created before I formed them in their mother's womb, I knew them and I ordained them with a purpose and a call. What is that call to show? Shake the foundations of the world. I wish I could find some help. If you ain't shaking the enemy's camp, if you ain't shaking the world, you might not be in the call. God called us to be movers and to be shakers. And I declare tonight that God is raising up movers and shakers. Hear the sound of the word of the Lord. Ah, he that hath it here, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Hallelujah. God has called us to be movers and shakers. And it is time for us to shake the world like never before. I declare and I decree when you open your mouth, it'll be like Paul and Silas in jail and there will be an earthquake. Huh? And I declare in this next season that the storm that comes and the earthquake that comes and the tornado that comes will come at the mouths of the prophets, will come at the mouths of the praise and worshipers, will come at the mouths of the intercessors. Why? Because we are movers and shakers. We are movers. We are movers and shakers. We are movers and shakers. God said, I declare that you are moving and shaker where? You are moving and shaker in your family. You should be shaking up your family even now. You should be waking them up out their sleep. You should be calling them and say, baby, get right. Hallelujah. The time is drawing now. The Lord is tired. Uh -uh, stop playing with God. Come from there. Come out of there. Hallelujah. You ain't got time for that no more. You too old to still be in the club. You're 54 going to the club. Come out. I can't get no help. Hallelujah. When the elves open back up, if you 40 and above, don't go back. I can't get no help because there's nothing for you there. Ha, you've had your time. Ah, the best soul. I wish I'd find somebody that'll help me in here tonight. Hallelujah. The bar ain't for you if you're 60. How you should be walking in the call of God. You should be walking in the call of God. You should be walking in the anointing of God. How dare you be in a club and your, your daughter there? How dare you be in a club and your nephew there? How dare dare you be drinking at a party and your little sister there and your child there how dare you be 48 and your child 19 and both of y'all drinking smearing off in corona in the same place the devil is a liar he's calling the church high he's calling the church back to holiness he's calling the church back with a character he's calling us back to be everything he's called us to be and how dare us not be the kingdom we got to be the kingdom we got to be the kingdom. We got to etapa. Itabanda Boboshe. Ha, we got to be the kingdom. We got etatan de besoye. Roma mama de bebebesoye. Ikabando bobo kosaya. We got to be the kingdom. We got to be the kingdom. We got to be the kingdom. We got tan de besokosha. We got to be the kingdom. We got to be the kingdom. We got etananananamanda besoye. We got to be the kingdom. We got etananananamando ba shikiataba. We got to be the kingdom. We got to be the etatan. I hear the Lord say the next generation won't come up like the last. He says, I'm restoring the homes back to teaching and training of the word of God. I'm restoring the homes. I 
Everybody between the ages of 18 and 35, prepare for a great awakening. If you got children, the Lord is about to raise you up to raise prophets and uh, apostles and teachers and pastors and evangelists in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The next generation won't be like the last. They will not be unprepared. They will not be unlearned. They will not be ignorant. And they will not perish because of the lack of knowledge. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. I didn't know God was going to say all this, but he in here, y'all. He is in here. He is in here. The Lord is saying, the Lord is saying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Ha, he's coming. Ha. I'm coming back riding on the horse. And on my thigh is a ring. King of kings and the Lord commander Messiah and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. And my king, my robe is dipped and dyed in the blood. Hallelujah. And everybody on here tonight, under the sound of my voice, you've been dipped and dyed in the blood. You're riding on the shoulders of the Christ. Hallelujah. That died for you. And how dare you not sacrifice? For the one that sacrificed for you, ha. Huh? Ha de beketo rabai, i kababan de boboshe ya, i kando reman de besoko reketaya, and de besoko shaya. I'm touching the mindsets of the people, says the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord says, before I release another house and I give you another car and I change your jobs, God said, I won't do it without a new mind. Ha da man na man de besoye, eke be 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 ke taban de bosaya. If you don't got the mind of the kingdom, you won't get my stuff, says the Spirit. Ha, you got to have a kingdom mind to get kingdom stuff, huh? There's a requirement coming in this season. It's a kingdom mind for kingdom stuff. A kingdom mind for kingdom stuff. 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 King Kenanamansi. Yes. Oh, Shaya. Ibande Besoya. Ikabando Bobo Soya Kaba. Ikababande so ye ketantansi ebeso kando bosa. There's somebody on here tonight. You've been having an unusual pain in your head. I hear the Lord. You don't know the cause of it. But the Lord says, I'm touching that tonight. He said it's small enough to go undetected. But it's not small enough with, for the Lord not to call it out. And the Lord is saying to tell you tonight, I'm healing an unknown thing. I'm healing an unknown thing in the name of Jesus. And I command the very thing that's invaded your head to come out in the name of Jesus. I declare and that you on here tonight, right now, you got a light headache on the left side of your head. Huh? You got a light headache on the left side of your head. And you've been one. They've been coming sporadically here and there. Hallelujah. Not knowing where they come from. But the Lord is saying he's detected an undetected thing. And he's healing it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If any of y'all got anything, y'all can come in whenever y'all want to. Amen. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. If, if any one of the elders need to come in, they got to work for somebody, we're going to let them come on in. Hallelujah. But I feel the presence of the Lord to pray for you even now. We pray for every sickness on this line tonight. We pray for every disease. We pray for every problem of the body. We declare that you lay hands on it right now. Lay hands on your problem. Hi, and I declare the healing anointing of the Lord is falling fresh right here, right where you are. I release angels with the healing anointing of of heaven to descend where you are. And if you've been praying for somebody, hallelujah, call out their name right now on this live, and God is going to release a healing to touch them. And I declare miraculous turnaround, miraculous healing. There will be major, hallelujah, testimonies that will come from tonight. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Major testimonies. Major. 
Ikande be 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 so ye kete. So called my mind that, uh huh, uh huh. See, the person with the head thing, God has healed it because it's gone. I don't feel it no more. Ha, de be be so called shaya. That's how I knew the Lord was healing you right now. In the name of Jesus, we declare it. In the name, hande be kete be be so ye ketansi. Ikabando bosaya. If you got something you want us to pray for, throw it out there right now. In the name of Jesus, we'll begin to pray. In the, we'll call it down in the name of Jesus. We pray for Alexis Wilson's family right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever the need is, whatever the problem is, we call their name unto the Lord and we declare that it's already done in the name of Jesus. Everything that they need is supplied, whether it be comfort, whether it be a miracle, it's already done in the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the prophet. It is already done. Signed, sealed, delivered. God said it's done in the name of Jesus. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. I declare that it's already done, huh? And we pray for you as well, Alexis, for standing the gap as an intercessor. We declare that it's done. Joanna, your family and your friends, you and everybody connected to you, we lift y'all up. In the name of Jesus, we declare that your next season won't be like your last. We declare that everything that God has for you is released now. In the name of Jesus, and every hindrance that being upon your life is gone. In the name of Jesus, Waylon Dixon, we lift him up. In the name of, we declare that whatever the need is, it's already met. In the name of Jesus, we declare that it's so. We declare that the Jones family, their need is met. In the name of Jesus, the Carmichael family, their need is met. Oh God, touch all of the families in the name of and do for them what they can't do for themselves. Send healing angels, send financial angels, hallelujah, send mental warfare angels, release Michael, the archangel, to war on their behalf, to fight off everything that is not godly in their life. In the name of Jesus, huh? we call out the Carmichael family. It's already done. In the name of Jesus, lift them up, oh God. Huh? The wounded hearts, lift them up. Lift them up. The weary hearts, lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up in the name of Jesus. It's already done. Huh? And every person that's affected by somebody that has the COVID, by, we lift them up. They shall experience a miraculous turnaround in the name of Jesus. Where they said 14 days, it'll go in one. Huh? In the next 24 hours, hallelujah. God is going to raise the temperature. He's going to light fire to their bodies and he's going to wash this. He's going to allow the fire huh, to overheat the COVID and bring it out the body. In the name of, I declare that it's so. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ha is a hetaya. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Somebody on the line tonight has been having arthritic pain in your right hand. Hallelujah. So much right now, so bad that I even feel the pain going from my elbow to the tip of my second finger. To the tip of my second finger right now in the name of Jesus. And whoever that is on the line tonight, God says, that's you. I'm going to heal you of that arthritic pain. Hallelujah. And the very copper tunnel that caused it. In the name of Jesus. I'm healing it now. And I call it be gone in the name of Jesus. It is already done. In the name of Jesus. I call it out. I call it's got to go. At the name of Jesus. Every knee has to bow. Every spirit under the sun has to bow at the name of Jesus. It cannot stay. Hallelujah. It has to go in Jesus' name. In Jesus, it has to go. 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 Wherever your problem is, it's got to go. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah! I don't care what it is, it's got to go. We honor God tonight. We bless God tonight. We give God praise for what He has said in here tonight. We love everybody, Amen. We love every. I'm sorry the preacher came out. I'm sorry. No, I don't apologize. What? Whatever it was, you needed it in the name of Jesus. Amen. It was needed in the kingdom and God delivered it. It was right on time. I receive it in the name. Don't worry. If it stepped on your toe, lift your hands and say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You receive it right now in the name. It, I declare healing. I don't care, y'all. If you on this live and you believe God to send a prophetic word to you, if you got a person that need a healing, call out their name. You ain't got to type it. Call it out right now and declare according to the word of the Lord through the mouth of the prophet that such and such I mean John Henry is healed in the name of call their name out and if you believe in faith the Bible says that God heals a lot of people by the faith of the friends by the faith of the family members in the name of, according to their faith the person was healed 
We declare that tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Han Soya Keto Saba. And I hear the Lord saying, we come against anxiety. Yes. Anxiety that has arisen in this season. Anxiety, we come against it in the name of We come against panic attacks that is not of God in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that spirit will loose you and let you go. The fear that's hiding behind it's got to go in the name of Jesus. The anxiousness that's hiding behind it has got to go at the name of Jesus. For the Lord is with you says God he will never leave you nor forsake you no weapons formed against you shall be able to prosper in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah we lift it up Se Seelman family lift it up hallelujah every person all the way to Texas Miss Shirley Anderson we lift up the man of God's name that you put on here tonight in the name of Jesus we declare that it's done we declare that it's done depression has to go in the name of Jesus ha and even though we're in quarantine if you're dealing with depression hallelujah loneliness hallelujah get on a zoom message and talk to somebody in the name I declare Declare and I decree in the name of Jesus that isolation will not push you farther into depression or suicide. I bind that in the name of Jesus and I declare if you will have a sound mind, God is renewing your mind right now on this live. Whoever you are, God is renewing your mind. You will not take your own life. God has a purpose for you. He's ordained a call on your life. You will fulfill that and you will not abort it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the na 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 man de besoye. In the name of Jesus. In the ando shaka se te besoya. Ha. I hear the Lord saying, "For uh, this is a strong word for a group of people." I heard the Spirit call them late bloomers. Hear the Spirit calling them late bloomers. Who is a late bloomer? A person that had goals and plans that didn't start off good. But now all of a sudden you're in a better place and you want to do better and you still got the same goals you had 10 years ago. But God is saying he's about to give you a new grace to go back and accomplish old things. I can't get no help in here. And he says for all of the late bloomers, you got out to a late start. You got you come out of it late. You had some unexpected things happen. Huh? Some things threw you off schedule. You had an unexpected child. You had an unexpected death. You had an unexpected situation or crisis that threw you off track. You, you had lost some things. You got out of school or whatever the case may be. The Lord is saying he's releasing a strong grace to go back and finish an old thing. Hallelujah. And I declare that you shall finish strong in the name of Jesus. You're going to finish strong in the name of Jesus. God is opening doors. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give God praise, y'all. I am sweating like a storm. Amen. Amen. I don't guess, I guess my prophets and elders saying I done did enough. They can't get them to come on. They in the spirit. God bless them in the name of Jesus. Bless them in the name of Jesus. I pray that you were blessed. I pray that you received something from the Lord. Holly. I pray that this word has lit some fire up under you. That you can't sit still in the name of Jesus. Holly. And I love you with the, with the spirit of the Lord. I love you with my whole heart. And all I want for you is nothing less than for you to come into the purpose of God. For you to walk in that thing and shake the very hallelujah. The shake the enemy's camp up and take back everything he stole from you. We declare that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Holly, I'm excited. Well, you know we'll be back on here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I didn't pray, y'all. I ain't going to pray y'all out. Amen. I ain't going to prophesy y'all out. Amen. 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 And the person on here with the question about my tongues, hallelujah, without an interpretation, hallelujah, that was my praying in tongues and a lot of the interpretation I gave thereafter, hallelujah. And to tell you that it, tongues can be, you can have a prayer language of tongues and you can have a gift of tongues, hallelujah. And in the midst of tonight, it was my language in the name of Jesus, which doesn't require an interpretation. Hi, and so I just wanted to clarify that for the person that was thinking it in the name of Jesus. We love you though. Amen. And God be the 
the glory for the things that he has done on here tonight. We declare financial blessings over your life. We declare that you shall not be bound by sickness. We declare that your mind shall be renewed. We pray for my, my pastor, Pastor Caldwell, his family, lift him up in the name of Jesus. We declare, God, that you give him strength, oh God. You give him resources, oh God. You do everything, oh God, that he needs for you to do for him in his life, oh God. And you give him, oh God, all of the things that he needs for him and his family. And I declare that all needs are supplied in Jesus' name. Huh? I love you, Lord. There's nobody like you. Until we see y'all tomorrow night, my wife will be on tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Y'all prepare for Prophetess Williams, Elder Williams, hallelujah. My co-pastor, the love of my life, will be on here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Whatever y'all are doing at 6, 59, 59. Stop what you're doing. Get back on this line because God got another word for you. Love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night.